Hi everyone, Pocono Prepper here, and today I am going to be canning cabbage. Now, down the road from my house, we have this guy that grows vegetables. He calls his food organic, but I think what he does is he doesn't use any pesticides or anything. They grow just natural, and so some of the stuff that you get isn't necessarily the prettiest, but you see, um, I want stuff that doesn't have pesticides. So I was able to get these cabbages for a dollar a head, and they are heavy, heavy cabbages. And I remember watching Mrs. Wolfie saying, yes, you can can cabbage. And my husband's family is Polish, and one of the things they love to do is to have meals with cabbage. And so I thought, oh, this is what I'm going to do, because as winter goes on, you can get cabbage, but some of the heads are really, really light. They're not compacted like these. I mean, these are solid, good heads of cabbage for just a dollar. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to try canning those and put those up and away. Now, I was very fortunate. I got a phone call from a dear friend. His name is uh, Puffin Prefer 12, and Puffin called me the one day and said, look at the size of these. I got them. Do you want them? And I said, oh my goodness, I would love them. And he gave me, I don't know, I, I probably seven or eight of these. Now these jars are the really, really big jars. And they don't recommend you canning in these because if you put meats and stuff in them, it's not going to heat on the inside of the meat to the temperature that you need to kill botulism. But I'm doing cabbage, and it's going to be cut up and diced into little pieces and then put into these jars. It's going to heat all the way through without any problem, and so I don't have any fear of canning these. And these will be pressure canned at, um, for me, because of my elevation, it's going to be 15 pounds of, of weight that I'm going to put on, and then it'll be 11 pounds of pressure to maintain rather than 10. But um, at any rate, this will be a new adventure that I have. I'm washing these jars right now. I have my ovens already preset to 200 degrees, so as soon as the last two jars are done, I'm going to put the tray in the oven so that the jars will get nice and hot. I have water on the stove because I am going to be blanching my cabbage for three minutes after I cut it up and then I will put the cut up blanched cabbage into those jars and then put it um, some salt in it. Now you know that when you put salt in the salt is not necessary for canning. The salt is only there to enhance flavor. So I can put in a teaspoon, I can put in two teaspoons, I can put in no salt if I so desire. So I will put probably two teaspoons of salt in each one of those, and then I will pressure can it for 55 minutes. So I'm excited. I am thrilled that people on YouTube will put their videos up on how to do stuff because, you know, the ball book does not have in there about canning cabbage because they're afraid cabbage is one of those tricky vegetables, I guess, and... Um, I think, though, if you keep everything clean and everything washed, everything sterile and everything boiled, I think you're going to be just fine. And there's a lot of people that can cabbage, so I'm going to give it a try. So, um, enjoy your prepping, and if you're going to take on a new adventure like this, just be careful. And as always, have a good day.